What is up guys, Jimmy or Chaos Silencer, and welcome to my Black Ops 2 Versus series. This is where we pit two topics of interest against each other, and it's picked by you guys in the comment section. For instance, if you want to do Gun versus Gun, or Perk versus Perk, Score Streak versus Score Streak, it's whatever you guys want to see. And I am recording this one early, this is bot footage, boot camp type footage, because I'm in LA right now as you're seeing this, playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 at the live stream event with Yaush and PTFO. Moving forward, this will be multiplayer footage, obviously, but I wanted to introduce you guys this series right when Black Ops 2 came out. How this works is you're going to see simultaneous footage of the two topics that we're talking about. In this instance, it's going to be two guns, and I talk about them. I go into depth a little bit about details and stats, but it's more about the feel that I got for whatever we have up there that is going versus each other. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Be sure to write and comment this if you like this series and you want this to continue. We'll keep it going. And we're going to do the Battle of the Burst Round Assault Rifles. We've got the M8A1 versus the SWAT 556. Now, I'll start with the M8A1. It's a four-round burst assault rifle, and the burst can be fired in quick succession. You can almost spam the button and make this a fully automatic type weapon even though it is a burst fire. Now, a lot of people are calling it the XM8, but the, the name they go by on this is the M8A1. And playing with this one, um, I got I really liked it. Uh, both of these burst weapons, these assault rifles, really can put down an enemy quick. They're both very strong. Um, there's obviously hardly any sway, um, hardly any recoil at all with these guns because they are burst fired. The MAA1 starts with 32 rounds in the magazine. It's got a three-second reload time. Obviously, the recoil is low because it's a burst fire type weapon. Um, you can put many attachments on this. I believe I'm running right now the millimeter sight and probably the quick draw handle. And I'm not for sure, but maybe the fast mag. I, I believe I gave up a little bit to get all three of those attachments. And the millimeter sight's amazing to me because you basically get an x-ray type sight plus a red dot all in one and it's great for these burst fire weapons because you really want to have precision and be able to put the dot on target and get bullets on target because obviously you don't have bullets to waste this one being a four round burst assault rifle i think it's the first time we've seen one of those in call of duty makes it very stout now on the other end the swat 556 this is also known as the sig 556 and it's a three round burst rifle and it has high damage in each each burst. It's also a very high rate of fire. It comes with a 30-round magazine, which puts it two behind the MAA-1, but that's not really that big a deal. And you can put all the attachments that the MAA-1 has as well. I believe I'm using open sights on this one just to get the feel for it. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And once again, they're very similar in dropping power, as you can see on the screen. I remember, these are bots. This isn't multiplayer, so it's going to be a little different once we get into that. But they both have a very high damage output. Um, I think I felt a little more comfortable with the M8A1. Maybe it's because I had the millimeter sight on it. I'm not for sure. Um, I'd like to try the SWAT 556 with that millimeter sight. I'm huge on that on that sight. I really am. You guys are going to hear a lot about that. But in the end, when they're so evenly matched with low recoil, high rate of fire, and a high dropping power, what I like to call to put down the enemy, I'm going to go with the M8A1 just for the small fact that it is a four-round burst. So you're putting more bullets on target if you hit target than you would be with the SWAT 556. So I'm going to give the slight edge to the M8A1, otherwise known as the XM8, but I would definitely work with the SWAT 556. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a very, very stout rifle. I've said this in a couple tweets. The burst fire weapons and the single fire weapons weapons are going to make a comeback in this uh, Call of Duty. You'll see. I mean, they're going to be used a lot. So there we go, guys. That is it. The M8A1 versus the SWAT 556 in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, most of my shows and series are predicated to you guys helping me out and steering me in the right direction. So as always, let me know where you want to go with this. If you enjoy this series, be sure to give it a like, a favorite, share it on Twitter, whatever you got to do. And that's it, guys. Black Ops 2 is out, and we're rocking it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.